Welcome. Today we're going to talk about geometric transformations. There are four kinds of transformation we're going to talk about. The first is translation, which is a slide. Then rotation, which is a turn. Reflection, uh, across a line. It's like a reflection in a mirror. And dilation, which is a, a change in the scale of the figure. A translation is a transformation that moves points the same distance in the same direction. So if we take triangle ABC and slide it to the right and down, we get its image called ABC prime. Those little marks are the prime. So the horizontal change is a change in the X value, and the vertical change is a change in the Y value. So in this particular translation, we could say that we took x, y, and added 6 to x, and subtracted 1 from y to get the, the image. All right, let's try and do something like this in Scratch. OK, here we are in Scratch, and I've created a new project. I'm going to title it Transformations. And I'm going to get rid of the cat. I'm going to use a letter, a very specific letter. Let's go to letters. And I'm going to choose my R. And that's going to be my object that I'm going to do some transformations on. I'm also going to choose a button, which is a thing and a button. And this button, I'm going to go into its costume and give it a little text. The first one is going to be translation. And I want it to fit in there. So let me get the button itself and stretch it. There we go. Now, this is a little bigger than I'd like, so I'm just going to shrink the whole thing down a little bit. There, looking good. OK, so when we click the translation button, what do we want to happen? Let's get our script. And basically, when this sprite is clicked, I'm going to broadcast a message. And that message is going to be called translation. And we want to know how are we going to change the x, and how are we going to change the y. So let's go over to the r block. And when I receive the message translation, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to ask a question a couple times, and I'm going to get an answer a couple times. And this is going to be saved into some data called change in x and change in y. So how should x change? And then we're going to set or actually we'll change x by the answer. Maybe we should call it how far to the right. Okay, and we'll change x by the answer. And then we'll say how far up. And we'll change y by that answer. Okay. Now, 
I'm going to get a pen tool. Some things we want to do with the pen. We're going to set the pen size to about 5. We're going to put the pen down. Later we're going to lift the pen up and we're going to clear the pen. Um, so then we're going to move and we're going to change the X and later we're going to change the Y. This was supposed to be a pen up. Okay, so we're going to change x by the change in x, and we're going to change y by the change in y, and we should wait like a second between. something like that. So let's see what happens. We click on it. It says how far to the right. I'm going to say 200. Enter. How far up? Let's say 75. Enter. And it goes to the right and it goes up. You know, it would be better if it waited a second before it got started too. So let's wait a second right here. Let's try it again. So I'm going to click on it. How far to the right? Well, now I want to go to the left. So I'm going to say negative 300. And how far up? Negative 100. So negative 100 up means 100 down. And it waits a second. It goes like so. Interesting that it says negative 100 and negative 25. What just happened? Ah, I have change instead of set. Okay, so I made a mistake, and I'm going to get my data. And I want to set the change in Y and the change in X, not uh, not change them. So let's pull this out of here. And this can go here. All right, let's see if this is more to my liking. We're going to click on translation. How far to the right? Let's say negative. 300. How far up? Negative 200. Enter. And now it's acting more the way I want it. Now it went too far to the left, of course, so let's bring it back. 125. All right, very nice. So that's the first part of our. Um, project.